Katrina from How to Start a Mom Blog. A few weeks ago you asked me to do a video all about Pinterest and um, I'm now doing that for you. Sorry, it just uh, took me a little bit here. So I haven't told you this yet so you're going to be kind of the first ones to know. But I am starting up a new personal blog called Fat Fitness Girl. So I'm going to show you what you need to do with your personal um, Pinterest accounts to make them better for your business and a what better way of uh, showing you than me doing it for my own account, right? So you know that um, what I say is what I'm actually doing. So when you do go into Pinterest, it asks you different interests and that sort of thing. Um, and then when you go into the main area here, you can see, okay, what are the uh, pins that you want to see? Now, if you get this set up now with a personal account, not that it's um, super important for later for the business account, um, like you can't do it, like you can do it then as well. But I find like, let's get all these easy things out of the way, right? So they will give you reminders, uh, follow new interests, because I'm not following that many people. Now for myself, I it's fat fitness girl, so you can see here, plus size fitness, plus size fashion. Those are the things that I'm going to be following. Uh, but if you are a family blog, you're going to be wanting to follow things on parenting, children, uh, school age, kids, those sort of keywords. If you're a beauty blog, eye makeup, uh, hair style, skin care, all of those, right? So just so you know, so you definitely want to curate your list to match the interest of your brand, which is a little bit different than how you use Pinterest personally. Because uh, myself personally, I will uh, follow a whole bunch of stuff like supernatural boards and just like funny little things. Um, I could watch like those Misha Barton uh, gifts or whatever for ages, but that's not really going to be part of my brand. So I'm not going to follow those on this account. Now, if you have a personal blog where you do talk about those sort of things or you want your full personality part of it, definitely do that as well. I'm not telling you not to show uh, your personality. So let's go into the fat fitness. So you can see like I literally have nothing. Like I pinned a couple of them. I started a few boards just to kind of show you. Like I'm following 56. I have two followers. I have no idea who they found me. Um, 16 pins, five boards. That's about it. If you don't know the difference between a regular board and a secret board, if you want to have a board full of things that you don't want your followers to know, maybe you're trying to conceive and you don't want people to know that you're trying to have a baby or whatever it may be, then you can create, go down here, create a secret board and that board will only be for you. Now you can do one of two things with it later. You can either delete it and no one will ever see it but you or you can make it go public. So what a lot of bloggers do and do and it's, was the best practice. I'm not 100% sure if it is or not anymore. But for example, for Christmas, they want to start putting Christmas things and they didn't want other their followers' feeds to be showing all Christmas. So they would pin into a secret board and they would like release it all at one time. Pinterest is now similar to Facebook where it has more of a smart algorithm. So it doesn't show everything that you pin which makes it a little trickier to use Pinterest than it was kind of about a year ago. But it's nice for those sort of things too, that you can kind of pin in bulk and you don't have to worry about um, annoying anyone. So the first thing we're gonna do here, we're going to change the profile name, put it into my personal name. We've got to pick a picture. way too many folders. There we go. Now, I don't know if you do this or not with yours, but I always have my original logo files in a, like their own separate folder so that I can use them. And I just need to see which one is the JPEG. There we go. See if it'll accept this. But I find that really easy. And then that way, if I want to do anything, like I don't know if, if you're like me or not, but I always like to kind of modify my logos a little bit so that I copy it and I put another one outside of there so I know that my original are absolutely my originals. So there's my Fat Fitness Girl logo. If you have a brand that's personal to you, you're gonna wanna put a picture of you so people connect better with people, not brands. Right now I don't have um, a headshot for this. So I'm going to just leave it as is with my logo but eventually I will um, have a few pictures for me for the Fat Fitness Girl brand. I just only have professional ones right now. And that's not what I'm going for. So, and we want to make sure that your username is correct. So, Pinterest.com, and I wanted Fat Fitness Girl because 
my blog name or address is fitnessgirl.com. I want to put um, a little bit about you. Now, because we're going to be changing this to a business um, Pinterest board, you're going to want to put a little bit um, of the businesses there as well. Katrina Tom is the um, creator of Fat Fitness girl.com always like to put your website in when possible because then people know oh that's it's a website right it's, my whole thing is it's not about weight loss so it's not oh, it's not about the weight it. Now, I should have probably a few more um, keywords in here, like because I have fitness in there once, but because it, it's in the fatfitnessgirl.com, like I should have fitness outside of that, um, health. Um, I do have weight. I could put weight loss in there, even though I'm not about weight loss, but those are terms where people would find me. So think about those sort of things. You can always rewrite it later by going to that same um, gear shift, right? Uh, if you're location specific, put in your location. I'm in Canada, but my readers aren't necessarily going to be Canadian. However, if you have a blog that's all about um, the East Coast, you might want to put like Halifax, Nova Scotia, or whatever it is that you want to put in. And here is the place where you can put in your website. And you always want to have this and you want to click verify. So what's going to happen here is that it's going to ask you to verify it. So it's going to want to put this in our header tag. So if you go into your website here, I'm just going to have to, I have a maintenance mode on it right now because my website's not ready to go live. I don't have any content or anything here yet. I'm just trying to get everything all set up. So I have to turn that off because it definitely will not work without that on. If you have a Genesis, just go into your theme settings here on the dashboard. And then you can see here for header scripts, which is where they want it to go. So just put it at the bottom, the meta right there. I'll show you where to go if you do not have a Genesis theme. So settings save complete verification. Now hopefully this works. If not, we will do it manually. Sorry, man, that's a little bit slow. Okay, so one place that you can go if you don't have a uh, Genesis theme, go to appearance, go editor, and then here, I don't have a lot of options here because it's um, it's a Genesis theme, so they have um, different things otherwise, and this is my child theme. But so, it's, for example, if we go to the main theme, which is Genesis, I really like a Genesis theme because it has that add-on on top. It can be a little annoying for some things, uh, but for when you make changes, that sort of thing, it's really easy. So you go into your header file, header.php, you're nervous about this, you can get someone else to do it, but you can definitely do it yourself. Now this is CSS. Um, in your theme, you'll probably have a bit more HTML. So you're gonna see like these little ones here that look like, like those alligators when you're in math class. And it'll be like alligator face, header, or head, um, closing alligator face. And then at the bottom somewhere, you're going to see the alligator face backslash. You're just going to want to put in that meta somewhere at the bottom. So for example, like this, and then underneath there would be like a head tag or a header, it might be. I'm not 100% sure which one. And then you would just save it. And now that's not how my theme works, so that's not what I'm going to do. And this is still not... Anyways, that's how you verify it. If you want to verify it by upload, you can see you can download a verification file. You can go into something like FileZilla. This way is my preferred way actually to do it because like, I can do it this way, but if you don't know what 
um, FileZilla is or you've never seen this before and you're not comfortable with these things, don't do it. Ask someone to do it for you. Hire someone. It shouldn't cost you very much money. So there we go. We'll pretend that our website is verified. Oh, it actually did work. <laughs> it just was taking a long time because my internet sucks. Sorry. So when you see that um, check mark, that means that it is verified. Now I can go in through here again, go to Genesis theme settings, because remember I got out of it to show you where you'd find your header file. And then just you can delete that meta. Now don't delete anything else. Like see there's like the alligator face backslash script alligator face. And then you don't want to get rid of that because it, say if I take this out, this is my Google Analytics code, then it's just going to go on forever and probably won't work and it'll break and I don't I don't want my Google Analytics to work because I, uh, the reason why I put an analytics on right away when I start a website, a new one, is just to see the basic who's looking for these kind of terms. Like I've done nothing with my website. My website has a maintenance mode page on it, which I should probably put back on. Then like I want to make sure that um, I can count any hits that are coming in. Like right now I'm getting about 40 a day which is crazy considering since there's absolutely nothing there and I have done no promotion for it so far. Okay, so this just shows you how to change your logo here, your name, how to verify the website, put a little bit, remember to do keywords, and you want to set up your boards. I'm going to stop this video here and I will um, do another one that will talk about switching it over to a business account and doing rich uh, pins because that's very important as well. Alright, talk to you guys in a bit.